Well, today I want to just bring up the topic of internet trolls. I mean, they're there. They're always looking for us. A couple things you need to uh, know about Evo Atheist Trolls. For one thing, there's way more of them than there are of us. So uh, playing man on man doesn't work. They'll win if you let them do that. So you don't lock horns with them on the internet and spend all your time ministering to just one of them when there are hundreds of people that need to hear the words of truth that you have to say. So don't do that. Uh, we play zone, not man on man. And the ones that come in uh, to me and they always want to do it in a public forum. Um, I only use them to teach you how to deal with trolls. So, uh, you know, once I'm done with them, I ban them and they get all screamy and, and cry like stuck pig. But, you know, they're only there for a very insincere reason anyway. And dealing with trolls, um, you need to expose their insincere reasoning before you uh, ban them or, or stop talking to them. And, uh, well, first off, they usually like to do something called hurling elephants. They throw so much stuff at you that you can't possibly answer it all. They say that's what we do, but I don't find creations to be like that. We like to go systematically one step at a time. They like to make five points at once, no less than that, and, and, and say that they're all right. And then when you try to address all of them, it becomes a big mishmash. And it's difficult because uh, they'll, they'll play you all over the board. So what you really need to do after their 20-page novel that they send you is go back to the very first point they said. And you'll see me do this all the time. Say, oh, that was brilliant. You know, I'd like to go over everything you just said. Let's go to the very first thing you said and bring that up. And then actually uh, treat do a treatment on that first point, which they are horrified that you're going to do, and discuss that one. Normally, they won't last longer than about halfway through discussing the first point they made because they were just trying to overwhelm you with their pretend brilliance, and somebody told them how to do that. They're not really very knowledgeable. Usually, they don't know anything. When you ask a question, uh, they don't know the facts or the logic. They'll also s try to send you to these web links. Here, read this, and then you'll see why you're wrong. You don't do ever do that. Don't ever, don't ever do that. Ask them, well, what was important out of that that you think I should have read the whole thing? Don't let them take up your time. Don't, don't, because you're a Christian, become a slave to being nice. You know, there's times you just don't play into the hands of the devil. The Bible says, do not answer a fool according to his folly. So don't let them wrap you up in their foolishness. Uh, the Bible also says, answer a fool according to his folly. Uh, in, in just a few verses later, and I think what that is meaning, those two opposites, is, uh, you know, go ahead and, go ahead, you're just going to have to talk to them like they're a fool. And, uh, and and spell it all out to them. Well, that can't be true because of this. And why did you say that? And weren't you just trying to, I can't believe you just tried to insult me. I thought you were here to talk about reasonable things. Why did you come here? What is your point? Well, they won't tell you why they're there. Um, because they're only there at the bidding of Satan, their father whom they are worshiping, whether they know it or not. I'm sorry, before I got saved, I was really a Satan follower too. Anyone who's not saved uh, and, and isn't uh, got the Spirit of Christ living inside of them and isn't born again, they're, they're all followers of Satan, and I was too, and so were you. So don't get uppity about that. Don't get uppity at all. Just a answer with great patience the way Jesus did, and when it's time to walk away, walk away. Um, but Jesus never argued with the Pharisees in private. He spoke to Nicodemus, and Nicodemus came with honest questions. He didn't argue with, uh, with the high priests or anybody like that, or Herod. He, he wouldn't talk to them even. Uh, he wouldn't even speak to Herod. So uh, we do these things in public for the edification of those standing around watching. And the Internet is public, but you can't let it get wrapped up. I, I don't indulge in these uh, things. I'd rather debate in person than on the online because online can go on forever and that is their point, that's their reasoning. Make them go one step at a time. Make them discuss each point. Ask them which was the best point you think you had to make and then make them pick one. And if they won't say, well, if you're not interested in talking, ban them. And that's what I do. So I'm hoping that the wisdom 
from experience, God-guided experience, God-instructed experience, and the wisdom of God. I'm trying to to glean daily, uh, then will be an example to you on just the clear common sense wisdom on how to deal with internet Evo atheist trolls. So uh, keep a watch out and you keep thinking. God bless you, Dr. Jackson.